country struggling to breathe. India registers a record-breaking number of new coronavirus cases for a fifth day in a row. Headlines for you at six. Two doses of the main COVID vaccines used in the UK are found to be highly effective against the Indian variant of the virus. Penyebaran kasus COVID-19 terus bertambah setelah masa libur lebaran. Provinsi Jawa Barat menjadi wilayah yang paling banyak menyumbang kasus harian COVID-19. Tanggal 24 Mei 2021, jumlah kasus konfirmasi positif COVID-19 masih terus bertambah. Our Earth is being refreshed by the COVID-19 pandemic now. Thousands to million of people worldwide die every day. The COVID-19 virus is spreading rapidly, yet people are buying likes about health protocols every day. There's also a group of people who believe in the, in the conspiracy theory that this pandemic virus is just set up. However, this virus does exist. Believe it or not, here I'm Putri Rabi Atul Adawiya, biology education student, going to explain what a virus is and what it looks like for the virus to live in. Viruses are a type of microorganism. They are too small to be seen with the naked eye, much smaller than bacteria, and about 100 times smaller than human cells. They come in many different shapes and are present wherever there are cells to infect. In fact, viruses are the most common biological unit on Earth, outnumbering all of the types combined. Viruses can infect humans, all animals, plants, and even bacteria. Viruses are very simple. They are made up of protein codes running a stand of genetic material. The genetic material can either be DNA or RNA. Sometimes, a membrane called an envelope surrounds the virus particle. This envelope isn't made by the virus, but is actually stolen from the membrane of the host cell. This is a great strategy by the virus. It makes it harder for the host cell to identify the virus as a brain. As we just saw, viruses are made of cells. In fact, they are really living. They are halfway between a living organism and a chemical. Because they are living, we say they are different types of virus, rather than say different species of virus. Some common types of viruses are COVID-19 virus and HIV AIDS. So, if viruses are living, how do they cause illness? Viruses are parasites that can only reproduce in other living cells they enter host cells and hijack the host genetic machinery. They make copies of their own viral genetic material instead and produce loads more virus particles. After loads of virus particles have been made, the host cell dies and the viral particles are released to, the, to infect more cells. The released viral particles can also spread to other people. Viruses causes many human diseases including colds, influenza, rabies, yellow fever, HIV AIDS, pneumonia, bird flu, Zika, Ebola, and COVID-19. These are just a few examples. Fortunately, the human immune system is very good at dealing with viral invaders. Sometimes, our immune system will recognize the virus as an intruder and will destroy the virus before it gains entry into a cell. Even after infection begins, after our immune system destroys the virus and the person recovers. Sometimes, the immune system can destroy the virus fast enough and the virus can cause permanent damage or death. In 1918, the Spanish flu is thought to have caused up to 50 million deaths worldwide. Scientists have developed vaccination against loads of viruses which have even led to the eradication of some viruses like smallpox as all human hosts became immune. However, some viruses like HIV have proved impossible to develop any kind of vaccine for. The virus life cycle can't go down one of two roads. The first option known as the latent cycle, or it can take a slower option known as the lysogenic cycle. In the latent cycle, the impatient virus hides in the cell's genetic machinery and starts making copies of the virus's genetic material. The cell makes the virus protein code which self-assemble and loads of new viral particles are made up the infected cell, keeps making more and more viral particles until it's ready to burst. The cell bursts open in a process called lysis and the viruses are released to infect other nearby cells. However, sometimes there aren't too many of the host cell nearby. Viruses are specific for different types of host cell. 
In this case, a slower lysogenic cycle is preferable to forest contrast killing its host until there are other new hosts around. Instead of killing the host, the phylogenetic information combines with the host genetic information and becomes part of the host. The host doesn't really notice the chain. The phylogenetic information has repressed the genes which prevent it from being transcribed. It just lets say in dormant state. The host cell carries on with its normal function and keeps replicating without, real, without realizing that it is also including foreign genetics information in cell of its daughter cells. The virus stays dormant until once in a while something happens and weakens the virus repressor gene. The house genetic material then realizes something is up and tries to repair itself. It cuts off the error which is actually the virus. The virus is then released and so is replicating following the lighting cycle. The cell bursts and the virus spreads out to other host cells. So, there we have lytic in the lice, genic life cycles of viruses. The lysogenic cycle has a delay as the viral genetic information inserts into the host chromosome initially. The virus is currently reproducing with killing its host. By following the lysogenic cycle, viruses are protected for long periods of time and can wear their environmental chain that otherwise could have destroyed them. The lytic cycle, however, has a much faster reproduction rate and a smaller window of opportunity for the hubs to defend itself from the virus. So, there we have viruses. They are incredibly simple organisms but are extremely effective at causing infection. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Stay healthy, keep health protocols, stay safe and goodbye.